So in last week's video, we talked about how to do, geez, that is really sharp. We talked about how to do a self-inspection of your saw blade, either by eye or with a really, really cheap jeweler's loop. And to me, it was one of the most informative things I think I've done in my woodworking career. I obsess over the cost of consumables and how to best maximize my dollar when it comes to running my business. So this week, we're gonna go to a saw sharpening shop. And this was another eye-opening experience for me. I had so much fun playing with machines that I've never had the opportunity to see in person before. I always kind of thought I knew how it happened, but I didn't. And watching it happen in person was amazing. So I'm gonna take you on that journey with me. We went to go see my friend Mike uh, at Central City Tool Supply, and I have no financial affiliation with him, but he was phenomenal at his job. So if you're in the western half of the United States and you want to mail your blades into somewhere, this is a great option for you. It'll be down in the pinned comment and the description. So let's head up to Santa Maria and see how my color changing Carhartt vest works. We're gonna head down to Central City Tool Supply with Mike here, who's going to take us through the blade sharpening process. Mike, thanks for having us. You're very welcome. Uh, we're gonna start off by laser engraving our, our blades, which is really cool. First thing that happens when you come into the shop is your blades are gonna get laser engraved. That's gonna allow them to track it through the sharpening process and really give information to people on down the line. So now that we've laser engraved the blade, we're back here in the shop, which is, man, guys, this is a really cool place. So what's our next step, Mike? So now we're gonna clean and inspect the blades. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, let's head over to the ultrasonic cleaner. So now we're clean and we're gonna go ahead and inspect the blade. Now, what are we looking for, Mike? So we're looking for chipped teeth, potential cracks, uh, missing teeth, run out. Rounded so, corners, yep, all that yep. good stuff. All right, and what is this machine? This is a optical saw inspection stand. So it uses a camera with a fiber light, and we're gonna zoom in and try and look at some of these teeth. Awesome. So we're just gonna kind of go through and quickly mm -hmm. see, first thing we found is a chip tooth. Oh, look at that. So we look for things like that so we can make sure when we sharpen it, we, 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 take we the see right that. Off. Right, a lot of times this is done visually, not with the camera system, right. but the camera system can just verify that. Now there we have... There's a bad tooth. Yeah, um, we'll go ahead and you can see that corner. We can actually zoom in on that as well. That's the sort of thing that makes a, uh, a dull blade. You're saying that these blades are in really good shape, but there are some minor imperfections that would cause dullness like that. That's right, this blade's ready for sharpening. Right, and that would be tough to see on your own, right? It would. That's one of the benefits of coming down to see Mike. So then it goes over to Juan, who's gonna do a visual inspection. Kind of the same things that we did on the uh, microscope over here, but what we're looking for is which machine we're gonna use and the best angle of attack, pun intended, how we're gonna sharpen this blade. So then we're gonna check the ATB and check for high, low, and make sure that if there's difference in the teeth that we can correct that when we're grinding. All right, so next we're actually gonna sharpen the blade and Mike has one of the coolest machines I think I've ever seen it. What is it? Five axis CNC saw grinder. And it's programmable to, to rake angle and tooth angle. And not only that, but it can probe the distance between the teeth. Uh, and if there was an alternating frequency between them, uh, it can adjust for that? Variable pitch, yeah. Variable so pitch. It, it, it has what's known as a smart finger. <laughs> so. That's amazing, yeah. I, wish, I wish I had one of those. All right, let's, so let's program this thing and uh, get this saw blade in here. We're gonna set the blade up against the probe, and once we've done that, then we'll close the door and start the process. You know, one of the things you were telling me that I think that's so crazy is if you had welded on a new tooth here, which is substantially bigger than the ones that have already been ground, yep. this machine can probe that one different tooth and it will continue to nibble away until it matches before moving on to that, the next that's tooth. That's right, that's right. And how much material is it removing in each pass? Uh, in this case, on the face, we're removing about four thousandths. On the top, about ten thousandths. Wow, so just a tiny amount just yep. to get us back to sharp. That's right. That's incredible. After we program this thing, and as a guy who was very proficient in using three-axis CNC machines, it was mesmerizing to watch how this thing could do every aspect of the cut without changing anything.
So one of the things that's absolutely impressive about the accuracy of this machine is when you look at the DRO here, these are cutting to three decimal places of a millimeter. So it's not quite microns yet, but it is getting down to a level of precision that is pretty incredible. So you can see here we have a broken tooth. So Juan is gonna show us how they take this tooth off uh, and then braze on a new one. One of the things you'll notice is how much bigger it is. And that's like what I was talking about earlier, how impressive it is that that machine will grind off a whole tooth down to size before moving on to the next one. Watching Juan work was amazing. He removed the broken tip and brazed on a new one so fast, I almost missed it. All right, so it is done. If you wanna come in and check this out, uh, and we'll do one more inspection to make sure that it's complete. But uh, other than that, it's ready to go. How long did that take, Mike? Uh, that took about nine minutes. Wow, that is incredible. After the final inspection, it was time to dip the blade in wax and get it ready to be shipped off or picked up by the customer. So we just finished the 24 tooth ripping blade and it won. This came out amazing, man. What do you, what do you think about these CMT blades? Oh, they're great. These, these CMT blades are amazing. Uh, no, no chips, they you rarely come in broken. They're great for ripping, they're great for cross cutting. The amount of carbide that they have, 10 to 15 sharpens minimum. Wow. You can just tell it's well built, it's easy to tip, it's easy to fix. So in that rare occasion where they do hit a nail, they're easy to fix. Yeah, one of the things that you were saying is like 10 to 15 sharpenings. Yes. These Freud blades, what is that? Two or three sharpenings max? Oh yeah, the uh, Diablo blades and Freud blades, easy to break. They're always coming in with tips and cracks. They're, they, they are not comparable to any of the CMT blades. They last three to four, maybe even less, and they're just not cost effective to fix. That's awesome. It, it feels nice to know that I've been hawking them for a year and saying how much I loved them, that yeah. they're, they're really high quality blades. That's great to hear. Juan, thank you so much for helping us sharpen these today. They really came out great. Hey, you know, it's my pleasure anytime. Great pleasure having you guys here. Careful what you wish for. I'm gonna be here every day. <laughs> Don't forget, there's a discount code and a link to those blades down in the pinned comment. Watching these guys work was incredible. The process was so fast and efficient. I think start to finish on each blade was maybe like 15 minutes. And the sharpening machine was amazing to watch. But if you want to talk about cool machines, they had these half million dollar machines that just made spiral router bits and drill bits. And while we were there, we got to see them make these bone drilling drills that were super long with a perfect hole down the middle. We got to see them cut the spirals and it had a air hose attachment on the end of it. Simply an incredible process to watch and the precision that was needed was beyond anything we can fathom. We're talking about getting into like nanometers. Wow, Mike, those blades came out incredible. It was so fun to see that process. I really, I feel like I had some epiphany moments back there, just kind of seeing how it actually gets done. And Juan is fantastic. He's really good at his Absolutely. job. This isn't sponsored, but Mike was so generous in having us here and sharpening our blades. If you uh, need to send your blades in somewhere that you know it's gonna get done well, Mike here will take care of it. All of his contact info will be in the description and the pinned comment. He also has a ton of construction and woodworking, landscaping tools, great shop here you have, Mike. So thank you for having us. You're it welcome. Really thank such you. such a blast, man. It. Yeah, absolutely. That was just amazing. And look, my vest is blue again. Amazing. Guys, if you want to go check out Mike, I highly recommend. Him and Juan did a phenomenal job sharpening our blades. And if you're within shipping distance, definitely a great place to send them. If you want to check out those CMT blades, they're like 35% off plus another 10% if you use the discount code in the pinned comment. Couldn't recommend them more. Phenomenal, phenomenal saw blades. Thanks for watching. And if you want to support the channel, head over to the Cat's Moses store, pick up a dovetail jig, a stop lock, or an apron. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe in the shop.